Okay, so substituting into the equation for xb, we get, and we find c equals gamma, three quarters of the way there. The next one's a little bit trickier. So if we make the substitution, we get this. And dividing all sides by delta ta, we get, or rather e is minus one over v, one on gamma minus gamma. And then this is where the hints come in. So for one on gamma minus gamma, we just write the second term as a fraction. For one minus gamma squared, we have We recognize that this is equal to, okay, so substituting these values into our expression for e, we find e is equal to v on c squared gamma. So now we have our Lorentz transformations.